we will create a Zillow like app uh, since it's a customer facing app I'm going to use Gatsby to start this app and it's going to be predominantly a Google map comp uh, component because in Zillow you need to list all the properties now what I'm going to do is we, uh, delete all the default lines that is there in Gatsby JS okay now we have React Google Maps library I'm going to very quickly install React Google Maps and import React Google Maps the basic setup that we need okay so this is the very basic setup that we need to show the Google Map okay. so I'm going to include the Google Map component from React Google Maps library and I'm going to give a hard-coded latitude longitude of my current area so this I'm going to wrap it up in this particular component because only then I can load the Google's JavaScript now what I have done is I have also included Google URL and the loading element container element other other props that is required for this map component <coughs> so this is a this should be self-evident now let's see how I created that API key so I'm going to go to the Google app console and create a app with geolocation and uh, permissions related to the Google Maps so I'm going to go there and enable the geolocation API and geolocation API is enabled here so I have copied that particular API and pasted here now that we have everything set up voila the Google Maps is ready for us to use now that Google Maps is ready I'm going to extract out the map component so this is the map component and let me import that map component here let me import that extracted out map component now that we have the extracted out uh, component I'm going to include certain things like I want to include marker that is the first thing that I want to include and since we are developing Zillow like app I want uh, my own custom marker which when I hover it should show a tooltip when I click it should show a model window that is our aim objective of using this app you are doing this app so for this marker I need to give a latitude and longitude I'm just going to give the default latitude and longitude which I have already used again this marker is a component from that library so we have that marker the marker works now that the marker is there okay this is a code that I included okay if you notice there is icon and set icon so icon by default has this green color dot image so I'm going to use that icon to the marker by default I'm going to change the red color thing that comes with the marker with this particular icon and when somebody hovers over the marker I want to change the icon to something else so this is what the set icon does it changes the icon to this particular image where this is an image which is a red dot so voila so if you notice the default marker is gone this is the marker right now which is like a tiny little red dot which on hover it turns green if you notice now it's green dot so this is something um, similar to Zillow it's not perfect but this is it's to demonstrate how we could use the marker icons now that we have marker let me add an info window the idea is that it will show the info window whenever I hover over it so info window is again another component from the library and I'm going to show the info window just um, just as the uh, latitude longitude the same position but the problem is info window is there all the time I don't want the info window to be there all the time I only want the info window when I hover or when I click or on a certain action so I want so I was going to do a set state only if there is if only if I hover over it I'm going to need the window okay now it works so now that when I hover it shows the info window and also it shows the 
it changes the color now let's move on to creating a model window that is to show a model window whenever I click on the marker because this is also the default behavior in a Zillow where when you click on a properties uh, marker you have the model window you have further details so here I'm going to create a model window to create a model window I'm coming back to my index just because it's the main component I just want the model to be outside the map component so this is a simple model and and I'm going to okay so I, I'm going to pass a function which is going to open the model which is going to set the state so that the model is been uh, open so the marker will have an on click handler so the on, on click handler will call its parents property so this will set the model so this when I click now the model window will open voila so we could do what we could do is we could now replicate the same thing to multiple markers so I'm going to create a data.json with multiple data like three or four data with a hard-coded <coughs> uh, information of with the hard-coded latitude longitude and title and things so I'm going to import the data so I'm going to import the data and just loop over it and show all the marker so and each marker represents a certain property you could do the same thing for overlay app also you could replicate the same thing for overlay app also here uh, we are doing it for Zillow or any property related real estate app works if you see there are three dots three red points which works so we have successfully included the marker now what we are going to do is I need to uh, set the data I mean, I mean I need to figure out I need to make it a little uh, correct that is whenever when I click I want to set the corresponding data I mean these are things that would be obvious for you these are specific to react so uh, previously when I click in uh, any marker it showed the same model window right now I'm going to show the respective property now when I click this it will show hotel 2 when I click that it should show hotel 1 and it's good so everything is set now that I said now that the model window is simple I'm also going to include the image so it shows a preview of the property so I could so uh, I could see the okay now I could see the preview of the property what I am again I'm going to change the info window coordinates and all because for each marker I want the info window to be near it okay I'm going to add just 0 0.01 because just so that it's not overlapping with the marker it's somewhere there you could adjust the uh, position of the info, info window now that we have the info window correct let's handle the <coughs> on close because right now when I close it the other markers are not working for that this will fix that this will be a quick fix okay now we have everything set now the map map is done now you could expand on the map work on markers and uh, change the icon do everything now that we have done everything what we will do is uh, we will make it similar to as a finishing finishing touch we will make it similar to Zillow I'm going to use Tailwind CSS which is a nice CSS framework with a lot of utilities I'm going to set the Tailwind configuration I'm going to set the CSS and all that you could you should refer the Tailwind uh, docs and I have on the right side I have the property but it's not responsive enough and also I don't like the navbar <coughs> so let me include the style from the site this is I'm just randomly doing it I'm not going to elaborate how, how I'm working on the style and all 
you could take a look at the source code in the link below in the blog post that I have linked so now I have the property uh, design let me design the navbar because I need to make it look at least similar to navbar there should be a responsive navbar in Tailwind I'm just going to copy paste the responsive navbar yeah now I have the responsive navbar and I'm going to give it a name change the name just change the name and include that particular navbar in my layout so we have the Google map component and then this navbar that I created and the list of properties nearby there you go so this is the Zillow clone that this is close to Zillow if you notice when you go uh, when you search uh, in for any property in Zillow the individual page will be like this so let me search for a place and see how it is it's almost it's not it's maybe 40 50 percentage closer to the Zillow app so we are there so this is what we could do in 10 minutes so we could imagine we could complete the entire site similar to Zillow so yeah I hope you found this video useful and for more video uh, please stay tuned for the channel and also check out pipesoft.com thank you